hello friends. I don't know if you can tell or not, but we are not in Florida anymore. <laughs> we are actually in a little town uh, called Corinth, Kentucky, up in the northern part of Kentucky, uh, not far from the Ohio border actually. Yeah. We just got here to our Airbnb and we are taking a few days off and having a vacation. And we're going to go to the Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum, which is something we've been wanting to do for quite a while. And we bought our tickets for it last year while kids were free. So we are out here trying to run off some energy because we just got done driving almost 12 hours, 11, 11 hours and something. And uh, we're tired. <laughs> we're tired of sitting and we're ready to... to walk or stretch our legs a little bit so the kids are outside with me katie's got all the stuff inside she's putting in the fridge from our cooler and uh i've got the kids outside here and we're just kind of exploring and enjoying this view man we are right on top of a of a hill and you can see for miles in every direction it is fabulous i, I mean it's it's katie picked the perfect spot for our for our stay and i'm i'm excited so I thought I'd bring y'all along on a little bit. I'll probably do a little bit of filming and uh, more for memories for us in the future, but I'll bring y'all along as well. Hope you enjoy. Our first day of vacation, we went to Cincinnati, Ohio and went to this Menard store. Now we don't have Menard stores down in the south and we have been told that this is the store by some of our friends that used to live up north. So we had to check it out, and boy were we blown away. I've never seen so much stuff in all my life in such a big store. Uh, it's it's like Tractor Supply and Home Depot and Lowe's and Real King and hardware stores all combined into one with a millwork store. And the best part was it had escalators. And us being the country crazy folk that we are, we rode these escalators up and down about three or four times. <laughs> Uh, the kids were having a blast, and uh, man, we got to see so much stuff in there that even you don't see much of in the South. Um, things like you know fireplaces, wood stoves, you know stuff that you're going to have to go to a specialty store here in Florida to see. Uh, they had sitting right there on the shelves. Uh, so yeah, that was that was a really a cool experience. We had a lot of fun there. The checkout set up a little bit different and it took me a minute to figure out how to get out of there <laughs> but we got it figured out the staff is super friendly and uh, we had a great time uh, of course this is the first time our kids have ever been north of the mason dixon line into the north so that was a cool experience for them and i've actually never been to cincinnati before so we uh we've left lowe's and we headed back into kentucky to uh, finish out the day Headed back to our Airbnb, the the ride is absolutely beautiful. It's tons of horse farms and cow farms, and it's just out in the middle of nowhere, and we, we absolutely loved it. Um, I'm actually going to put a link to this Airbnb down in the video description just in case anyone else is interested. Uh, it's like the best place in the entire world, and it's only about seven miles from the Ark Encounter in Williamstown. Once we got back to the house, we let the kids go outside and run around and play, and throw, we threw the football around and just did a little bit of exercising. We were tired of being cooped up in the van the day before, so it felt good to run around and play, and the weather was gorgeous. When we left Florida, it was in the mid-80s and hot and miserable, and the weather up here was fabulous. Uh, 40s and 50s during the daytime, 20s and 30s at night. Now this was Kaylee's first time walking in the mountains and she was struggling a little bit but she was a lot of fun to watch. She is so cute trying to go uphill. Well today we are at the Creation Museum. 
Looking forward to checking it out. If you've never been to the Creation Museum, I highly encourage you to go. It is a lot of fun and it's wholesome and you don't have to worry about your kids seeing something or hearing something or reading something that they shouldn't. Uh, they go over a lot of cool stuff like dinosaurs, which kids absolutely love. Some of us big kids do too. And uh, a lot of the you know legends of, of dinosaurs and dragons and the, uh, the stories about some of the people that slew dragons and such. And it's, it's a really, really fun time. They have a lot of life-size uh, animal skeletons and fossils and some of them's, you know, resin models that they've built like this one, uh, but some of the fossils are actually, the skeletons are actually real bones and everything, which is really cool. And they have a lot of animatronic dinosaurs in there, which kind of bring everything to life. It's really, really cool. This here is actually a model of the Garden of Eden, what they pictured it would be like.
It's not gonna hurt you. The way the exhibits are set up, it's basically a tour of the Old Testament uh, book of Genesis from the creation all the way up through Noah's flood. This here was an exhibit of Cain and Abel where uh, the first murder happened in the Bible. Music, art, but along the way they forgot all about God and just chose to live their own way. Years ago, God spoke to my grandson, Noah, and warned him that he would send a flood to destroy every living thing that moves on the face of the earth. This exhibit here was a, an exhibit showing Noah's Ark being built. wickedness grieved the heart of God. Ah, I will never forget the words God spoke to me.
Now this exhibit here was really cool. Uh, fearfully and wonderfully made. It was basically showing each stage of life uh, of a baby from when it's conceived all the way up until it's born. And it is really, really cool to see this. Big, ain't it? We sort of got a kick out of this exhibit. It was tons of different bugs and beetles and moths and butterflies and you name it, bug-wise, they had them. And it's hilarious because about 70 or 80 percent of these bugs live in Florida. And it was like, oh, brother, <laughs> we see these bugs all the time and they're not cool. Because <laughs> what most people don't know is all of the bugs in the country come to vacation in Florida. <laughs> so we get, we get to enjoy all of the creepy crawly critters and uh, most of them are out to bite you or eat you or something <laughs> This was so cool. While we were there, we actually got to meet Eric Hovind. Uh, he told us, and I didn't even know this, he made a video on his cell phone in about 12 hours time. It's called Night at the Creation Museum. If you ever have been to the Creation Museum, you have to check out this movie. It is absolutely hilarious. Uh, you can find it on his website, uh, creationtoday.org. Dinosaur. That's pretty cool. Fun? 
He's uh, not real though. <laughs> He's not real. <laughs> they do have quite a few live animals there at the Creation Museum. And the kids always love animals. It doesn't matter. Even if we've got the animals, they always want to go see the animals. So we took them over there and they really enjoyed that. Stinky goats. He's got his jacket on, huh? Oh, look, chickens. We've never seen those before. A little bantam, it looks like. Oh, those are some unique looking pigs. They waited all day long to go ride the merry-go-round. Now this merry-go-round is nothing like the ones they had when we were kids, but it was still fun for them. They they enjoyed it, and we uh, we got ourselves dizzy on this thing for quite a while. <laughs> is that fun? We go the other way now. Yeah. All right, here we go. Of course, once I pushed all of them, they wanted me to get on there so they could push me. So <laughs> I obliged and got on and let them push me. All right, good enough. Oh dear. Woohoo! Uh. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh. <laughs> all right, that's good. Okay, that's good, Jack Christian. It was a full day, but we had a lot of fun. Well, that concludes our tour of the Creation Museum. A very cool place to check out. If you'll ever get a chance to try it out and come see it, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun.